Hi, I'm Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at ivymasters.com. Shout out to my Monday 6 to 8 class. If you're looking for test 1, section 1, number 21, there's already a video for it. Here is number 25. The author's main purpose of including the information about x-ray evidence and density is to what? So this is one that you see the big X there. You can actually search the passage for big X. That should be easy to spot. Then make sure you read the context for it and we get, get a big X here. You could also do that with years when years are mentioned on SAT. Notice the X-ray is mentioned at the end of the paragraph. Um, it's concluding what came before it, so we should get some context read before it. First feature of our structure, which is of biological interest, is that it consists not of one chain, but of two. These two chains are both coiled around a common fiber axis. It's often assumed that since they're was only one chain in the chemical formula, there would only be one in the structural unit. However, so that seems like that's not the case. However, the density taken with the X-ray evidence suggests very strongly that there are two. So once again, density and X-ray evidence suggest that there are two chains. So we go to the answer choices. The author's main purpose of including X-ray evidence and density is to establish that DNA is the molecule that carries the genetic information. It's probably already been established in the passage, and that's not directly what that paragraph's saying. Present an alternative hypothesis about the composition of the nucleotide. So nucleotide's not mentioned there. The, all the information you need on an SAT reading passage will always be there. So is that what is within the nucleotide? Is nucleotide something else? How do you know? It doesn't say it in the paragraph. We eliminate that answer choice. Answer choice C provide support for the author's claim about the number of chains in the molecule of DNA. Yes, it is providing support for the author's claim that there are two, which is the number of chains, in a molecule of DNA. Answer choice D, confirm the relationship between the density of DNA and the known uh, chemical formula of DNA. Notice that's actually shown evidence against that, contrary to that, because based on the chemical formula of DNA, the paragraph was saying that we would only expect one chain, but the X-ray evidence and density corrects that and suggests that there are two chains. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has trouble with these science type questions. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments and click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.